Assalamu alaikum everyone. It's obvious that you have seen what's going on with the Rohingya people and you have done nothing about it. And I was totally shocked when the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Nasima Sheikh, some, somewhat similar to her name, I forgot the name properly, and she totally denied the existence in the torture of Rohingya people, despite helping them and showing them a helping hand, receiving them. But she said there's nothing going on with them. And she said, I have a good business in Myanmar government and I don't want to destroy my business. I was totally shocked as a Muslim country. And I do expect every Muslim to help them. If they cannot do anything, do something like Malaysia, Indonesia and other countries. That they protest in front of them, embassy, that was at least something. But if you don't help them, who will be there? Because we believe as a Muslim that a Muslim are one body. And when one part of the body is hurt, other part of the body should feel pain. If you don't feel pain, for the Rohingya people, then you must question your Iman and check your Iman, whether you are really a good Muslim or you are Muslim just by name or by the lip service. Let me give you a call for action. It's very simple. If you want to do something for them, let's do it together. You send me a link of fundraising where we can help them financially. Number two, organize something and visit the embassy in your prospective country and tell the Myanmar government to stop the violence and murdering them or killing them or putting their children in front of their own mother to the fire and putting them in the lashes do you think if that happened to your child what would you feel put yourself in their shoes as a woman as a brother as a sister whoever you're watching this video put yourself in their shoes number two if you're an authority it doesn't matter where you are despite the differences we might have within our muslim community but that shouldn't allow us to take a bad step when the muslim need us so in that position we should stand together strongly and defend our religion and the Muslim Ummah. Inshallah, very soon I'm going to invite one brother who is journalist from Myanmar and he's himself from the Rohingya people and he'll give us more insight and then I'm going to announce a link for the fundraising. If you cannot do anything, at least support them financially and that will be a good cause for them. Because I believe this is not only a test for them, it's a test for every individual Muslim. It's test how patient they were in the time of that calamity and what we did when they were in the calamity so they both side test and we know very well as the quran says that this life is a test for the hereafter and we must pass the test despite passing the test we must also defend our religion as a part of our faith and we also need to defend our ummah as a part of the sunnah that we are one body so inshallah stay tuned for the next video where i'm going to invite and bring a journalist from rohingya people and he will give us more insight from the people and inshallah also i'm going to announce the fundraising link where you can support them financially if you cannot do anything else that's my message i'm going to leave with you stay connected and also what news do you have about them let me know in the comment section or even you go to the comment section you will find more people speaking about them and you'll have much more insight and authentic news from those people so for now i'm going to leave you inshallah i'm going to see you next video